Alright guys, what is going on? It's Maxi here, 21 Maxwell. I'm going to bring you episode number 11 of my Rangers series. And you can see now we've had a, a decent start to the new SPL campaign. Five games in, three wins and, and two draws. I'm going to get into the results in a minute, but first of all I'm just going to quickly go through the transfers and such. Just to show you how much of a reboot we've had this season. So as you know, we'd obviously put in a few bids at the start of the year. Uh, start of the window, sorry, we had Osman South coming in. And a Bosman, he's playing as a striker. Decent little target man, hopefully make a good bit of cash on him. Uh, for some experience, we brought in Miles Jedinak. He's not actually played yet because he's been injured, but with those mentals, and he's a good ball in a midfielder, and I thought, good leadership skills. He can come in and hopefully add some steel and some experience to the team, so he came in for 700k. Uh, for right wing back, we brought in Sadi Yanko. I thought the determination being high means he's going to improve pretty quickly. He had a great season at Dundee United last year. And he's got the physical attributes to play a wing back, take a bomb forward and then get straight back down. So it's a no-brainer to bring Sadi Yanko, also good experience he's using on FM. And so far this has been no different. He was played a month in the first season, he's been really, really good. Uh, we brought in a youngster, Craig Sibold, uh, from Falkirk for 100 k He's actually out in loan, we've owned him in Livingston. But for 100 k decent potential there. And if it doesn't work out, we should be able to sell him on for profit, hopefully. But I mean, good be player, versatile. And I'm hoping we can get the best out of him. And again, back to my Paderborn days, for those who remember the Paderborn stream, we brought in Marvin Bacalors as another ball winner. Good mentals again. He always performed for me in the Bundesliga, so I thought if he can do it in Bundesliga 1 and 2, surely he can do it in the SPFL. And then we've brought him in, so he's going to be a pretty steady acquisition. And for the right hand side, his teammate Solomon Cock, good pace, you know, he's just a decent right winger, he can play up front as well. and he was again impressed when I was at Paderborn, so it was an old brainer to bring him in as well. We then brought in from Barcelona Gerard Gambo, just a nice central midfielder to sit in. Just be a deep line playmaker essentially, so he, he's, he's okay. He's kind of rotated in so far and done pretty well. Then there was Jurchenko we've seen, and he has been simply fantastic. He's only started two games in three sub appearances due to uh, fitness issues because of the massive demand at the start of the season, stranger, for a lot of games in a row. But two goals, one assist, 7.36 rating, he's been really good and he's sitting playing that central midfield role with a view to being an attacking centre mid, so he's been really good, I've enjoyed him. Kevin Trapp's been good, he's only had one clean sheet which is disappointing, but five appearances, conceded six, and the former German under-21 international has been pretty damn solid, so he'll, he'll be our best player. Then I went a wee bit mental and just decided, right, let's just completely revamp this team. So we brought in Shane Lowry as another centre back. He hasn't started yet, but you know, stats are decent enough that he should be able to do something. The former Millwall player. Javi Quintilla on loan from Barcelona to cover left back and centre back. Again, a lot of good attributes there and only 20 means a good chance to improve. But he's, he's done well for us so far and he's been a steady acquisition. DeAndre Yedlin we've brought in just to basically give us some pace down the right hand side and give us cover at both right back and attacking mid right. Not great, but he's fast, so I should do it in the SPFL. Um, from former Manchester United youngster, sorry, Andreas Pereira. Again, good youngster, good potential. And we're hoping to get the best out of him. Uh, we're also looking at Thierry Ambrose, who was at loan at Dundee last season. And we're hoping that he can come in and have the same kind of impact. You know, he got 13 goals in 30 games for uh, Dundee last season. Good stats, you know, good pace. No, no, a world beater, but should be able to do it at this level. Has previous at this level, so you think he'd be fine. From the World Cup, the young Uruguayan defender Jose Maria Jimenez impressed for Uruguay, and we've managed to snap him up on loan from Atletico. So he should be steady at the back, solid at the back, and again, he's only played one game again due to injury problems, but he looks like he could be a massive cut for the club. Joaquin played for Aberdeen on loan last season. Scored against this looked really good, so it was a no-brainer to bring him in and loan. And the fact that he could cover all positions in central midfield, again, versatile, good young player, a lot of good attributes. It was a, a no-brainer to bring him in as well. Another one from our days at Paderborn was Kenan Cameron, or Caraman. We had him on loan to, from Hanover at Paderborn. I brought him in and loan again, and he's been a good striker so far. Two goals and four appearances. I've played in the match, one assist. He's fast. He can finish a ball, you know, composure's maybe not there, but you know, it's that bit of pace that takes you a wee bit further forward up front. And the last one, I needed another inside forward, so we looked at Anthony Pilkington, on loan from Cardiff, only paying 4k's wages, and 
It's a guy with a bit of pedigree and the goal scoring record since his game's been amazing. Four starts, four goals, two assists, a player of the match and a 7.82 so far, so he's been a star player. Now for the outs. We released Templeton, McCausland, Darren Ramsey, Tom Walsh, David Brownlee and Ryan Hardy. So one of quite making the grade. Thomas Ken Bendixson and Lee Hodson both were transferred to Aberdeen. Lewis Vaughan is out in loan to St Mirren. Christopher Olsen and Marcelo Trotter in loan to Dundee. Jao Serrano goes to Dunfermline in loan. We've released the likes of Darren McGregor, Nicky Clark and Marius Zalirkis and loan deals for a lot of the other youngsters there. Examples being maybe Ross Lyon going to Aula, George Diederer going to Hearts and Billy McKay getting a chance. Like Cole Marmock. didn't really do anything for his this last season. Amazing that decent goal scoring record for Inverness, didn't score for us and he's already scored two on his debut. So that was interesting. So that's the transfers. So the board this season, um, Premiership, we do these kids to challenge the title, so I think we can do that. The Scottish Cup's the semi-final and the League Cup's the final and give people a chance, as I always seem to do. And financially we're doing okay. We've lost a million in the last month, which is a bit of a bummer, but you know, at least we're in the positives. We're not running the black, we're in the reds a lot last season, which was disappointing. So no Europe, um I just gotta go to schedule competition, sorry. We are back at the third round of the League Cup where we have the championship side Hallon Aki, so we should beat them hopefully. And in the scene league, we have a game in hand against Celtic, which I'll be playing next, which is against Inverness. But we've got three wins and two draws at the moment. Great pre season. Yeah, we took on Dundee, uh, sorry, Cowden Beef in the first game of the season. Danny Wilson put us ahead. Yurchenko scored a penalty before Greg Stewart pulled one back. They were very unlucky not to steal a point. We got so lucky, but we should be beating teams like that, and thankfully we did. We then took on Dundee United at home. Caraman put us 1 0 up. Aguza made it 2. Pilkington made it 3. They brought one back for a ball day. Yurchenko again before Farouz made it 4 2. Thankfully they didn't score. Farouz's goal was a belter. It was from 20 yards. But it's alright. We had under control. Allegedly, and we just kind of scraped through in the end. Then two poor home results. St. Mirren at home. Uh, we took the lead for a Pilkington. Adam Brown equalising. Then we get Quintilla sent off. They went 2 and up for a Scott Boyd all players. I mean, he's absolutely woeful in this. Equalised thanks to Caraman. Jamal Lassiles gets sent off, but thankfully, not in enough time to really change anything. I don't know what I'm saying, thankfully, but unfortunately. And uh, we finish like that. It's amazing they've got Jack Grimmer in loan, they've got Gerard Lassiles, we've probably no doubt nine other million Newcastle players like we seem to get, but there's no way a player of his quality should be going to be in this game, in my opinion. Uh, after that, an all against St. Johnson. Murray Davidson was sent off pretty early on, 42 minutes. We couldn't break him down. Again, raging at that. Should have won that. And then we go to Hearts. Great victory. Cork, Pilting can get into. Osmond South making it 4 1 after Robbie Moorhead had pulled one back. So again, good victory against Hearts. And it's not too bad, you know. It's, it'll look a lot better if we beat um, Inverness in this next game. If we get to 14 points, the aim is here to finish first or second. And I think we can do it. The only thing that worries me is this guy at Celtic. Wajed Waris, or Majed Waris, he just looks a really pacey striker that can cause us a lot of damage. But overall I'm confident, and I think hopefully this can be our season. So there's not as many loan deals, there is still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 loans. But um, I'm pretty sure there was a lot more last season, I think we might have about 15 or 20. But it's a, it's a completely changed team now, there's very few that are there for the start. In fact, I think the only current Rangers players in this team are Cammy Bell, Luca Gasparato, Lee Wallace, Lewis McLeod, and that's it. So it just shows you how much I've changed the team over the last two years, and hopefully we can do a lot better. Interesting, like five Scots, and like four Spaniards, like just players like everywhere. That's crazy. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks as always for tuning in, and hopefully I'll speak to you again next time. Bye bye.